Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Math Tube. Today we are going to continue our discussion in convergence and divergence. I hope you watched the previous videos in convergence and divergence. If not, pause this video right now and watch all those videos in a series. And today we are going to learn about the integral test and the integral test is a special test which is designed to test the convergence and divergence of positive term series. So you suppose sigma un is a positive term series. I hope you remember the definition of positive term series. All the terms will be positive. And now what you have to do is you evaluate the integral, integral 1 to infinity ux dx. That is, you find un and replace n with x and integrate it from 1 to infinity. And please note, it's an improper integral. Improper integrals are those integrals which you learned in your first semester. And this will be type 1 improper integral. Now, if the integral value is finite, then our series will converge and if the integral value tends to infinity then our series will diverge okay let's check out one question and the first question is test for convergence sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square plus 1 okay now look at this i'm sure you remember limit comparison test and the condition to apply limit comparison test is you should be able to find the degree and the degree should be negative here both the conditions are satisfied i'll repeat both the conditions are satisfied so you can work out this problem with limit comparison test but i want to use integral test and test the convergence so the first step is I'll call it sigma un. Let sigma un be the given series. And un will be 1 by 1 plus n square or 1 by n square plus 1. Now the next thing to do is replace n with x. Okay. And then you integrate. You define integral 1 to infinity 1 by x square plus 1 dx. Anyway, I hope you remember the formula integral 1 by 1 plus x square or x square plus 1 that is tan inverse x. But before that, this is an improper integral and improper integral type 1. So the method is replace infinity with limit. We cannot add up to infinity so we converted it into a limit problem and then we are integrating this normal integration and I'll keep all those steps over here and okay I'll put the upper limit what's the upper limit yeah t and what's the lower limit 1 so we get tan inverse t minus tan inverse 1 and I'm sure that you know the fact tan 45 degrees 1 that is tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 so that tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 okay now we're going to take the limit what is tan 90 yeah infinity so what will be tan inverse infinity that is 90 and there it goes pi by 4 so the question is is it a finite number or not of course, it's a finite number. Pi by 4 is a finite number. And what does it imply? It simply implies our question. This is our question over here. Our question is convergent. That's it. It's one of the easiest tests. Provided you know how to integrate functions properly. Okay, let's move on to another test. Test for convergence sigma n into e to the power minus n square okay so the first thing i'm going to do is 
I will call the given series as sigma un and I kept the question here you can read the question anytime you want okay so let's call it sigma un now un is n e to the power n minus n square so ux will be x e to the power minus x square I told you you can apply integral test provided you know how to integrate functions properly but that is the hard part sometimes the functions will be very easy to integrate and sometimes it will be very difficult and you may not be able to find the answer so I'm warning you integral test is really good provided you know how to integrate the functions properly okay let's move ahead I'll keep ux here and then the test criteria what's the criteria integral 1 to infinity ux dx must be finite if it is finite it will be convergent if it is infinite it will be divergent okay now let's write the function value I took ux and I'm keeping it here I'll manipulate this a little bit uh, I hope you remember substitution method what is the derivative of x square isn't it 2x okay so I'm going to substitute yeah I'm going to put x square is equal to t and that means 2x dx will be equal to dt but take a look at the integral we need x into dx we don't need 2x into dx we need x into dx so that will be 1 by 2 dt now look at this the substitution is t is equal to x square and these limits belong to x I'll repeat the limits which we see here 1 to infinity belong to x so t is equal to x square so when I put the lower limit I get 1 square that is 1 and when I put the upper limit oh infinity square that's again infinity now let's substitute the new limits are 1 to infinity and instead of x square we are supposed to use t and x dx is nothing but 1 by 2 dt now again the same problem improper integral so let's keep this 1 by 2 outside and make it proper and I cannot use t I already used t so I'll replace infinity with some letter w and I hope you know how to integrate e power minus t that is e power minus t whole divided by minus 1 now I'm going to throw this minus outside and put upper limit lower limit and I hope you remember these things from the exponential graph e power minus infinity tends to 0 and e power infinity tends to infinity and e power 0 is equal to 1 okay that's it substitute yeah I hope you know the fact that e is a finite number so definitely 1 by 2 e will be finite and if the integral value is finite then our series will converge okay let's check out one more question so that the method becomes clear so the third one test for convergence 1 by 3 n plus 5 okay I know I know that you can find the degree and the degree is negative you can apply limit comparison test but I am trying to use integral test to test the convergence so let's follow the pattern let's call the given series to be sigma un so un will be equal to 1 the whole divided by 3 n plus 5 and now I'll replace n with x and I'll keep it here now what's the test criteria integral 1 to infinity ux dx and that will be 1 by 3 x plus 5 and I hope you remember the derivative of 
log x natural log natural logarithm of x is equal to 1 by x so integration of 1 by x is the natural logarithm so we get first let's get rid of that improperness and let's apply the formula so as I told you integral 1 by x is natural logarithm of x so 1 by 3x plus 5 gives us ln 3x plus 5 the whole divided by 3 now put upper limit and lower limit and we get ln 3t minus 5 minus ln 8 I'll do one thing I'll keep all the steps here if you want you can just go through it and our question is here okay now tell me what is log 0 minus infinity if you remember the graph of logarithm it will be very easy to remember these values and log 1 is 0 and natural logarithm of infinity tends to infinity okay let's put it together so I want you to take a look at this test criteria t tends to infinity and ln infinity is infinity so we are going to get the value infinity okay and if the test criteria becomes infinite then of course our given series will be divergent okay that's it for now i will be soon giving you a video lesson in Leibniz test Leibniz test is a special test designed to check the convergence of alternating series so i'll be back with that so till then you can work out more problems in this convergence and divergence so till then bye